Good morning, everybody. The last day of February, <clears throat> February 28, 2023, Liberty County Commissioner's Court, regular meeting of the court. The, uh, well, let's see, we have a quorum established. Uh, Commissioner Whitmire, Commissioner Arthur, Commissioner Karbowski are present. Commissioner Wilson is with us on Zoom. Uh, so we do have a quorum established. We do have business for the court this morning. Um, if you would, let's rise. Lee, if you lead us to the pledges, I'll get the invitation. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and Please face the Texas flag. Y'all pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, as, as always, thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for helping us to rise and put our feet on the ground. Thank you for this, another opportunity. Another opportunity to to work and to live in a in a wonderful, wonderful area of Texas and a wonderful county. Lord, help us to be, to think, to act what is right, because it is right. Lord, make us truthful and honest and honorable in all things. Lord, Make us intellectually honest for the sake of right and honor. And Lord, all this without thought, a reward to us, but in helping others, which is our, our job. And that may the things that we do to help others be pleasing unto you. Father, please be with the ones that are in need, ones that are, that are ill, they need healing, they need your helping hand, they need your touch your grace, your blessings, your wisdom. Lord, please be with them. And always, Lord, be with our men and women in uniform and our first responders. And as we grow, Lord, we, we ask that you would walk with them at all times. Thank you again for this day, and thank you again for this opportunity. Please forgive us where we failed you, and Lord, help us to stand up straight and always do the right thing. We ask these things in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Amen. Well, we'll get started here. It, uh, there's no notices and proclamations today. Carol, unless you have anything special over there, you got anybody we need to proclaim today? No. Okay, all righty. And there are no public comments that I've received this morning. So uh, we'll move on with that as well. And uh, we're some, I believe the question came up, Matthew, last night. Somebody sent me a note. Said, what? Don't you have to let people talk? I said, yeah. In 2019, it was 551.071. Uh, was the lo local government code. And I said, if you really want to get specific, go to item B. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I saw that. Yeah. So anyway, it was my friend David Taylor was at a meeting and then they weren't allowing somebody to speak. I, one of those moments where you say, I remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, declare conflicts of interest. Do we have anyone that has any, any uh, reason to declare conflict? Today, everybody good. Well, we could always declare a conflict somewhere. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move right along. Consent agenda. Have y'all had the opportunity to look at that? And are, are there any add-ons today? Okay. To be Beacon Software Corporations for one thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars, and it's an education. Okay. Are we missing the treasurer's report? We are. The treasurer's report will be on 
first meeting in March. Um, thank you, please. I have two add-ons. Uh, one for a payoff for Tammy, Tammy Beach, the Sheriff's Department, the total for that is $9,929.49. Say it again, Kim. Nine thousand nine hundred twenty-nine dollars and forty-nine cents. And the other one is for early Lucas, who is also in the treasurer. I mean, the sheriff's office. The total for him is four thousand two hundred fifty-three dollars and thirty-six cents. Um. Also, the. Uh, payroll item 7.6, the payoff of comp for David Myers has already been paid. That was paid on January the 13th. Payroll. Ready? <clears throat> yes, the comp time. So, so. No more add on? That's all I have. That's all? Thank you. Well, you the, instead of the other way, add on. Got a motion from Greg. Second from David. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nay. That motion passes. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on over to the regular agenda. From Mr. Brown. Good morning there, Brother Rick. How are you? Good morning. After I was getting ready to start swinging the bats. Yeah, I think they were hit yesterday. We're wondering if we right. finished it or not. Can't wait to see what happens this year. It'll be fun. All right. Consider and approve the waiver of penalties and interest for account number 251828 SOPO Properties Incorporated, amount of $171.44. Yes, that was a um, somewhere in the line between CAD or the tax office, uh, some kind of clerical. Mistake was made, timing, some kind of notification, something along those that fits that general. Yeah. Really, which is the only recommendation that I ever had the opportunity to ask you to waive penalty and interest. And I choose those pretty carefully right. because we don't like to, you know, treat somebody different than the rest of the group. But if there is a, an instance where there was something done by either one of our groups to cause that, we try to be as liberal on that and awarding that back to them, especially after they requested pay the stuff and then each of the entities have the opportunity to give it back to them. So yeah. we first come to y'all and then we send it we pay us to all the other entities affected. And so that's our typical deal 17144. And okay. recommend that you do approve waiver of that penalty and interest. All right. What's the court's pleasure? Make a motion to approve it. Motion from Bruce, and second from David. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Number two from Mr. Brown, consider and approve the waiver of penalties and interest for account number 37395, Dorothy Simon Thibodeau, the amount of $341.94. And this is the same reason. Yeah, the same, same logic and reason behind it, just a different amount, different account for $341.94. And I recommend waiver to that penalty and interest. Like a motion to approve. Second. Motion from David, second for Bruce. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, that, that motion carries. Number three for Mr. Brown, consider and approve the overpay refund of $9,381.46 for account number 222846. Customer is Neil Stoser. And of course, this is a little different situation. Um, we tried to just collect the pay at one time. In his particular case, it was the crossing of the mortgage company paid it. And before we booked his, you know, so his his actual payment created a refund. Mm -hmm. So um, the mortgage company covered the first amount, and then the code allows us to refund it to the payer, uh, so we don't have uh, double taxation on it. So I again approve, recommend that you approve refund of that money um, since we just went in the pay one time. Yep. Make a motion to approve. Sorry. Uh, motion from Bruce, second from David. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 
Black Lives Matter. That motion carries. Thank you, Jim. All right. And that uh, that refund is only on amounts twenty five hundred and over. So that's why we don't come with everyone to that. <laughs> right. Twenty five hundred catches a lot of them. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Appreciate your help. Okay. Uh, number four from uh, over in the county auditor's department, and uh, Miss Maselli is here. Uh, correction from last court <clears throat> on Valentine's Day. Uh, consider an approved pay request from Grant Works pertaining to the CDBG grant 2006013C095. These were these housing buyouts, of course, and that was file ID Libco 103. It's correcting the file ID. The purchase price was $80,000 plus closing cost of $5,000. And not to exceed eighty five thousand. Angela, you got anything you need to add to that? No. Pretty much straightforward. Well, what's the court's pleasure? Make a motion to approve. Okay. Got a motion approved. Second from Greg. Further discussion. All say aye. aye. Likewise, nay. He said motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number five uh, for Mr. Gott. Uh, consider an approved pay request again pertaining to the CDBG grant. And this is file number Libco 110. The purchase price. Excuse me. I don't know about y'all, man. This this is it. Bottom is just really something to hear. Thank you. My truck is gray, but it's green. Okay. Purchase price fifteen thousand four hundred. Uh, closing cost of five thousand. Not to, the whole thing. Not to exceed twenty thousand four hundred. Take a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second from Greg. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Likewise, nay. So that motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number six is from Ms. Harris, uh, County Treasurer. Consider approve <clears throat> the expiration of our current depository bank contract and going out for bids for a new depository contract. Current depository contract will expire May 31st, 2023. Good time to get started, right? Good time to get started. Right. Yes, I, I included in the packet the calendar um, and the, the statute on how the timing of what this has to happen. So um, now's the time to get going. I know that Prosperity Bank is our current depository bank. So um, <laughs> We get approval and we'll send out packets to every bank and every county and see what we get back. You know, past history, you actually respond. Back. Uh, the last time we did this, we only had prosperity respond. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so these will, um, the bids will be due in Harold's office on March the 28th. Or, I'm sorry, March the 23rd, and then we'll bring it back to you all for your review and decision on March the 28th. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second from David. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Likewise, nice. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number seven from Commissioner Karbowski. Mm -hmm. Consider and approve the job proposal. To paint the WIC office at 501 Palmer uh, Street from Jesse Lopez in the amount of $12,450. And um, I guess, Bruce, you want to explain it to us real quick? Yeah, yeah the WIC office uh, is in bad need of painting over there. And because we're having to paint around their schedule, keep from shutting them down, uh, has drove the price up a little bit. Went out, uh, David went out several. Bids on this thing, and this is the lowest one we came up with. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Second. So, motion from David, second from Greg. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Likewise, names. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number eight from Sheriff Raider. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning, sir. Man, y'all had a nice grand opening out there. It was good. Thank, Thank you for coming. I don't know. Uh, was was uh, Chief Knox the one doing the cooking on the chili? Was it was? 
I don't know if he did it. I didn't see it in the snow, but he's taking credit for it, sir. And, and I, I supplied all the meat. And we did see, look, yeah. Wilburn and uh, Burger Cook. Y'all did great. It was really good. It was good turnout and a nice tour, too. So thank y'all. Yeah. Um, consider and approve the AT&T switch Ethernet service uh, with network on demand to proceed with the dispatch move at a monthly cost of $1,188. And by the way, Sheriff, that, that dispatch is the berries, man. Yeah. You did good on that. I mean, it's, you know, just for the public to understand, <clears throat> when they show up for shift in dispatch, they go in, you lock the door, and they don't come out. Right. And nobody else can go in. Right. So nobody's in there tapping on the glass and wanting to talk to somebody. They're focused on their job. That's pretty cool. And it's a good way from the public to do their job a lot better. Well, they already do their job great, but I mean, it's going to be even better now. The uh, How many stations do you actually have out there? Uh, it looked like we license for three or four. It will be right there, but we could expand to eight. Yeah. That was the plan way back in. Or yes, sir. That's why we bumped up to 12 positions, what, seven years ago. I'm trying to get ready for this. Anyway, make a motion to approve. Wait, I was going to let Nick explain if you had any questions. Uh, Nick, come on. Uh, yeah, uh, she asked me we were uh, speaking with uh, Motorola and HJC about the move of dispatch and everything. Came to our uh, attention that we needed a specialized circuit just for Motorola that the county has to do. So, Unfortunately, we've got the bill on this, but it's a necessity for not going to move. Pretty much what it is. It's, it's monthly. Yeah. Angel, you got any problem digging up eleven hundred and eighty-eight dollars? Question: Where's the money coming from? Yeah, this well, was it's just, but, you know, not only when we've been sitting here for years, this is a big thing. No one knew about right, and then they brought the right. Hey, we're going to back all circuit. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. We're well, bad that we know the way to find the back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it happened. I'm not I can't tell you right now where the money's coming from. If someone doesn't have it already in the budget, so. Well, for expediency's sake, uh, is there any more discussion on this? You got to have it. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, Chief. So I mean, we, uh, Nick and I meet with these guys mm -hmm. every two weeks, and it's like we're finding out stuff there. all the time that's not included. Yeah. And we were all sitting <laughs> March 28th, we were having our finalized meeting, and I did it again, you know, hey, is there anything else? Oh, by the way, what's the on this line right here? Like, well, it was we never brought to our attention. We had no idea, right? We yeah. heard this a long time ago. Yeah. So it's one of the unpaid. Just basically dedicated. Is there a one time fee or it's just just it's just monthly fee? Leon, you got any questions? No. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. It uh what's the court's pleasure? Take a motion to approve. You did? Okay. Well, Bruce made that motion. So David can make the second. Jones again. That's all right. At least we uh, had the opportunity for a good explanation. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Wise nays. That motion carries. It reminds me of that song by Dan Hicks from the Hot Licks. Remember them? Where's the money? Okay. <laughs> Funny how those things just kind of come to you. <laughs> Number nine. Uh, from uh, Matthew Poston, Kathy McCarty, County Attorney's Office, uh, discuss, consider approving the recommendation of the Liberty County Water Control Improvement District Number 5, which we you know, normally call WCID 5, Selection Review Committee to award by resolution, Breeze and Nichols, Incorporated for Engineering Services, for the city's 2023-2024 Texas Department of Agriculture, C, uh, Texas CDBG, that's a grant to provide application preparation, engineering services if awarded. 
Okay. Like city. No, that, that is CIDs. Not. This is for the cities. I didn't know if they ever said what city. I don't know why it said city. Is it supposed to be county? Thank you, City of Liberty. Yeah. Or the service. <laughs> yeah, service is City of Liberty, but it, I don't know why it says yeah, I think that's probably a typo. And uh, it should either say County of WCID. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, what we would ask for is an um, amendment to the resolution that the WCID has, has provided, uh, uh, showing the they are the ones who went out and bid and are complying with competitive bidding and professional services statutes uh, governing this, not the county. So you know, with the court's motion to approve with that amendment, I will adjust the language to say that WCID, not the county, went out and, and sought out and discussed and uh, negotiated with the engineering firm. Angela? We already um, we discussed this, and um, I just wanted to say, because I, I need to say, whenever we do these pass-through grants, um, the bulk of that weight falls on the auditor's office, uh, some of the purchasing office, depending on uh, how the bidding is being done. And I think this one was a potential of a $500,000 grant. Um, and when that happens, you know, we're at, at, in this case, because we gave them permission to go out and do their own bidding, um, Carol has reviewed uh, some of it, right? So you've reviewed some of what they provided on Friday. We yeah. get it and see if they follow the rules. Um, and I just want to say, the TDA grant, the last one we did uh, was for whole country water, and um, the administrative firm back then was called management. We got a huge uh, like book of things that. You know, the auditing firm, the desk audit review came back from TDA and said you didn't follow all these rules. And I just want to be sure that we all know that when we do pass through grants, um, at the end of the day, it comes back to Liberty County. And so we're not familiar with the administrative um, part, uh, services that they've chosen, but um, in lieu of that, what we'll do is uh, we won't pay out money until we receive money. And uh, by law, we should have three days to pay it once we get it in, and that way we're not we're not left with something if something didn't go on. And, um, that changing the wording will help because right now the state Liberty County did all the things yeah. and we didn't do that. So um, I think we could pass it based on that. Mrs. Mrs. Horn with the district sent some stuff last Friday, um, like their ads and their evaluation committee material, but. I want to get with her. She's real responsive to get everything they did, start a folder, review it like we had done it, make sure. And it looks looks okay from the surface, but I don't have everything yet. I think, it'll be, I think it's going to be okay. So, a motion to approve um, with Matthew making the amendments and need to be paid on this. Sorry. All right, got a motion, Bruce, for the sake of the Greg. Any further discussion? Any questions? I think, Jay, I think we need to table this. I think it's a necessity for us to table this. I think we need to get the verbiage correct and sit down and let the court, to include myself, discuss this with the county attorney and the auditor about what's taking place. Um, not that I don't trust the... Um, the thoughts of Matthew or the auditor's office, but I'd like to, I'd like to to discuss it, uh, take this and table it for the time being, so that uh, uh, we could uh, learn a little more about if there's any repercussions for the county on this. Well, we have a motion and a second now, mm -hmm. without having the argument for a <laughs> to table. So we need to discuss this. Any further discussion on the the point? I mean, are y'all okay with it? Are you good, Matthew? I, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I will tell you, and Angel will tell you too, that there's risk involved in these pass through grants. And we can't uh, uh, tell you that we have reviewed everything through this point to ensure that there is uh, little 
So yeah. at this point, it's, it, it is an unknown. So I understand where Commissioner Wilson coming from, and, mm -hmm. and I'm fine with that. If we, if we want to table and come back in two weeks after uh, we've had a chance to go through a little bit more intense bond with me, too, I think that's probably the, uh, the, the better part of the discussion right there. What other timelines on the screen? April 1st. And then the April really 1st. If we, uh, Next meeting is March. We still haven't made application yet. We're just trying to get everything in line. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to have an engineer firm. You got to have your the grant administration firm. Uh, yeah, in line. Got have grant. This grant had these people here to help us put that together. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. And, and, and then our engineering firm also. Yes. They help us put everything, get this package together. And the time frame is running out. That's why we're looking at trying to get it passed today. And then we can sit down and work this stuff out. <laughs> we didn't write any people in that are experts. Oh, of course. Uh, they have to it out. Uh, we're leaving. So, just so you're aware, we have been in uncomfortable circumstances in the past with some of these experts. So, um, is there a, a possibility that we could have a special meeting next week if we can get all these issues clarified? I, I think that's probably the best course of action. I Did think that give you all time, yes, Angela. Yeah. If we have, if we can have a special meeting, if and only if we can, I'll reset my motion. I think my understanding is if we don't get past this time, we won't have enough commissioner court meetings to get the application approved. I think that's my understanding from the writer. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So what we're so what we have to do is have a special meeting. I don't have to call a special meeting. We even have a special meeting in the, in, within the next week, is what we're saying. Oh, okay. so, yeah, so that it gives us a little bit more time, but we can get the extent. Now we need to go ahead and get what we need. Yeah, we need it. Mm -hmm. the, well, the amendment is easy to talk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, honestly, it's Angela and Angela that signed up the better part of this. What we're saying. Okay. Yeah, but it's got to get them time to do that. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and do it sooner rather than later. So. All right, Bruce, you want to change that to a table? Um, no, I'm going to leave it like this. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have a motion. Uh, I thought we need to type it. What uh, you say? Well, wait a minute, we ain't called for a vote yet. <laughs> if you have some discussion, I'm, I'm, I'm no, open I'm for discussion right now. I mean, Matthew's a yeah. council, so I yeah. think we need to. Yeah. Just vote it down and then doing it in the motions. Okay. All right. You got a vote on this one, Doug. Got right. a motion. I'll agree. So right now we have a motion from Bruce Sagan and Greg to pass with some uh, some discussion to table. Okay, we're gonna look at it that way. Uh all in favor say aye. Aye. So we have uh, all opposed and nay. Nay. Go nay. And I'm going to vote nay simply because I want to bring it back up and table this and then bring it back up for a special meeting next week. And we will call a special meeting next week. Uh, I'm, I bet Dee can get it out yeah. even this afternoon. I split Monday. That, so, all right. So that, that does fail. So now we need a motion to table. That's correct. Okay. So. <laughs> Make the motion we table. Okay. Second. Got a motion from uh, Leon, second from Bruce to table. Any further discussion? All of ever say aye. Uh, aye. All right. All right. We're going to table this thing and bring it back up next week. Uh, James, if there's anything y'all need to get with Matthew and with Harold and Angela on, Bring, bring your shopping cart, okay? That's what we're going to need, okay? Okay. Thank you. And thank you all, gentlemen. Glad we got this worked out. Number 10. Uh, 
<laughs> discuss, consider approving recommendation of Liberty County Water Control Improvement District Number Five Selection Review Committee to award Trailer and Associates Incorporated a resolution, a contract for administrative services pertaining to the application and implementation, if awarded, of the county's 20, 23, it doesn't say cities this time, 24 Texas Department of Agriculture, Texas CDBG grant, and authorizing execution of the contract on behalf of WCID 5. Again, we need to table this one too. That's correct. And bring about both at the same time. I make, I make the motion, we table. Second. Got a motion for Leon, second for Bruce to table. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, next. Then that motion does carry. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, that along to number 11, Mr. Douglas. Come on up and visit for a while, David. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, number 11 is to request for authorization to solicit for engineering services for the Hull Fresh Water Supply District water well project that is being funded through the ARPA and add this project to the county's existing ARPA grant management agreement with GrantWorks. Pretty, pretty, pretty much covers it right there. This is a project that's previously approved. Mm -hmm. Out of ARPA funds, we uh, up to $1 million. Right. Um, we had this on the agenda last time, but the wording was insufficiently detailed. And so we have brought this back. In fact, there are all four of these items I have today you've seen previously, but they were tangled. So we'd ask you today to approve the whole project, all fresh water supply district, water well project, and uh, that we add them to our existing contract. And authorize the purchasing department to receive. I need to do it for Make a motion to approve. Let me, uh, let me ask Carol first, please. Um, are we going to do this now or are we going to wait until all the Yeah, you know, great work to look over before we actually do the bid. I think there were two items on this agenda that we were going to bring to Grant Works on our next meeting, which would be the seventh, um, so that we can. Get fully approved by them. Um, it had to do with the price, and I don't think we've received that price back yet from Fall Fresh Water. This is where they were going to get a second estimate. Right. But that's not right. on the. It's not on the. But it pertains yeah. yeah. to this also. Isn't so. this just solicit for engineering services? Can we go ahead and solicit for that services? I'm going to ask Carol about that. Yeah, we're going to do that to a great work. Looks over everything we're doing and approves it. Yeah. I think we need to wait one more time. Your next meeting is on the 7th. It's actually at 1 o'clock. So um, it's going to be after uh, the next work. So I don't know if we need it, if we're comfortable getting written uh, wording from maybe two people off of our grant work team to say that we're good to go mm -hmm. um, before then. I prefer that. If we could get yeah. that, maybe we could do it on the next work. Yeah. Change my motion to table. Second. All right. We got a motion uh, for Bruce and second Leon to the table. Any further discussion? I'm trying. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, that is that motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 12, a uh, request for authorization issue notice to proceed. For engineering services to LJ Engineering for the City of Hardin Wastewater Project that is being funded through ARPA. Maybe this will be a little bit easier. I hope so. How do you too? Of course, this is a pre approved project from the court. And uh, we have gone through all the motions on this. And uh, an engineer has been solicited by the purchasing department. Uh, they've been vetted out. Uh, this particular engineer is LJ Engineering out of Beaumont. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're ready to move forward now by issuing them a notice to proceed on the program. And that's what we're asking your permission to do today is to issue a notice to proceed to LJA Engineering for the hardened wastewater project. And that's funded not to exceed $2 million out of the office. Move to approve it. Thank you. Was that uh, Greg? Yep. Made the motion. Bruce made the second. Any further discussion? David, Leon, anybody? 
Bueller? Nothing. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nays. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, number 13. Uh, request for authorization to issue notice to proceed for engineering services to Schomburg and Polk Engineering for the city of Ames wastewater project that's being funded through ARPA. And this is just like the last. This is just exactly like the previous item, except the project is for Ames. And so, uh, Mr. Parpowski, I believe this would be your project. Make a motion to approve. Yeah. Motion from Bruce, second from Leon to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, thanks. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, number 14, consider and approve the transmittal from the Hull Freshwater Supply District stating that funds are in hand to take care of any cost overruns on their water well grant that is being funded from ARPA money. This, will this letter be acceptable or will the court wish Mr. Poston to draft an agreement? I believe that's something we need to do. Recommendation on this is Mr. Poston drafting. Yeah. Do we just need to table this on all sides? I think so. I think so. Make him up at the table. Exactly. Got a motion from Bruce to table, second from David. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. <laughs> Likewise, Davis. That yes, motion. There was some discussion. Sir? There was some discussion on this with Grant Works. Yes. And they have recommended that we go with an, a drafted agreement out of the county attorney's office. Good enough. All right, there you go. Job security over there, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number 15 from Mr. C. Come on up here, Mr. C. I'm here. You know, Aggie baseball is looking a little better this week. I guarantee you. Uh, consider and approve soliciting for bids for road materials. Okay, I was told last week that uh, some of our bids for limestone base and trap rock and things other trap rock. Um, that Vulcan, who was our own bidder with products, uh, so we don't have an alternate to go to, but we're not going to be able to provide it for the rest of this year. So I tried to contact them, or did contact them, ask them to send me something officially saying that, which they haven't done. And I know two two precincts have ordered limestone base after that. <laughs> so for right now, until we have something from them, uh, because we have a contract with them for the rest of this year, until I get something from them, we know we just table this. Did you, did you ever get a date from them? Or? No, but I've, got, I've had 4,000 tons of chip rock um, ordered since the end of last year, and they're telling me, Vulcan's telling me now that we can forget anything in twenty in twenty twenty three because they promised everything to textile. Yeah, uh, Only I thought was kind of yeah. underhanded, yeah. Um, kind of leave us hanging. Which I haven't received anything written from them. Really. No, I have not received anything. This is just uh, verbal from Mr. Carter to our self Y'all could, if you wanted to, you could do this contingent on us getting the notice and I'll bring it back to court. So that way we start preparing in case we need to do this. Well, this is, I mean, the letter is one thing, but yeah, I'm, I can't get any material for that, period. So, I mean, we need to do something now. Well, go ahead and prove it. And I'll, I'll keep working on trying to get something from the end of writing saying so we can avoid uh, sure. that uh, contract. For them. Make a motion to approve. Hang on. No, we're not going to table number 15. We're going yeah. to approve 15. Okay. Pending notice from Vulcan Materials canceling the contract? What are they doing? No, yeah, this is just to solicit bids for uh, raw materials. Okay. But you don't want it pending notice from? No, not right now. Okay. Okay. We, won't, we won't do it before I bring it back. Okay. There was a motion from Bruce to, to, to accept. No. Who made the second? Oh, you did, Greg. Okay. <laughs> so now we got a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, next. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 16, for Mr. C, discuss and approve contracts for auto autopsy. Okay. Transports and pauper cremations. That's going to be an RFD that number 2307 
Awarded by Commissioner Scored on 124.23. Harold? Yeah, I've already approved this uh, as far as what the rates are going to be. And I'd hope to have the signed contracts ready to put in front of court and so be in the court record, but I don't have them yet. So we would they would hope the next court will have them. Yeah, no, is everybody act like they're going to sign up? I think so, yeah. We're good. Okay. What's well, court's pleasure? Move with Chambers. Motion, right. Greg, second from Dave Table. Any further discussion? Leon, you got anything? No. Nope. You good? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nay. The motion. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 17, Mr. C, consider and approve list of vehicles. <laughs> That's not the Spanish no, version. Okay. It can be used as trade in for the Community Supervision Correction Department, also known as NOAA. Probation. Okay, these are some vehicles that the adult probation has over there. They haven't used in a long, long time. They want to trade in all of them on another newer vehicle. Um, used to be years ago when I was auditor, they used to, the state used to say they had to follow our purchasing laws and whatever. And then now they're telling them they don't have to, they can do whatever they want. But just as a precaution, these are the three they're trading in. So I'll put it on here just so. If somebody from the state comes back later and said, you know, should have had it approved by court, we'll go ahead and approve it. And any trade-in, y'all approve any trade-in we have. Uh, these were, I think, purchased with their state money. But still, I just want to, it's just a precaution. Make a motion to approve. Okay. <clears throat> a motion to approve, second with Greg to approve for discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nay. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, moving right along, number 18, Mr. C, <clears throat> consider an approved purchase of a washer and dryer for the jail. And uh, oh. I know DT's here. Oh, good. They, they had a dryer evidently caught on fire, so he, he asked us to get a, a bid, and this is through Bible work, for a new dryer, but he asked us to also look for a washer, and he can explain to you why they might need a washer also. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. When I got here seven and a half years ago, the laundry equipment was junk. Mm -hmm. Okay. The washing machines uh, were, we got some more out of junk we gifted to us from Geo before they left. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, we did have a dryer fire Friday night. Friday before last, is that right? Yes. And so now we're down to one dryer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, one washer and no dryer. We like all the clothes, the, the bedding, the towels. Um, so I need some new equipment. If you look on the third page, the total for installation and for the washer and dryer is 22779 and 10 cents. What is it, Harold? 22779 and 10 cents. Yeah, I have that yes, sir. You got the money, okay. Very conservative with my budget this year. They do have the money, I think. It will take a lot out. We're going five months into it. It'll take a lot of your budget. But Angela and I discussed this. There might be a possibility to take it out of commissary. There's a lot of commissary money, she says. Got room for a close line. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice days out here. Maybe kind of blowing the breeze. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second from Leon to approve the further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you, DT. And ladies. Would you like to introduce your new member of your group? Ladies and gentlemen, this is my pleasure to Mark Jones. All right, Mark, come on up. Let everybody get a good look at you. We don't want Sheriff shooting you because he doesn't know who you are. Yes, sir. Okay. And Mark, you came to us from TDCJ, correct? Yes, sir. And you were uh, you were mainly supervisor at High Tower, weren't you? Yes, sir. Okay. And with regions. And with okay. Region three. Region three. Yes, sir. Well, that's pretty uh, lengthy time you had there. Then, yes, no sir. doubt. How many years you had with it? Twenty-two total. Twenty-two years total. Yes, sir. All right, Sheriff. I think you make a good hand over there. He's a mechanic. He's a mechanic. <laughs> Man. 
Well, let's see if we can get Angela to buy you some extra tutors. All right. Okay. All right. Good. good deal. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate you coming. Number 19 for Mr. C, consider and approve the purchase of a new vehicle for $31,373.80 from Lake Country Chevrolet, utilizing TIPS contract number 210907 to be paid from the Sheriff's Forfeiture Fund. Yeah, we can't find a bunch of vehicles at one time, but Mr. Hendricks really good about finding one or two here and there. Yeah. So they want to buy that and pay it out of their forfeiture. All right, Sheriff, thank you for coughing up some money there. Sure appreciate it. Angela sure appreciates it, too. Motion to approve. Thanks. You got a motion from David, second from Leon to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, please. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, number 20. For Mr. C, consider and approve solicitation of asphalt overlay services to be paid from ARPA funds. Okay, this has been going on for a while. Yep. Yes, it has. Uh, Grant Works at first was telling us we had to have an engineer uh, because of federal requirements and all that. David Douglas got involved in it and started talking to him and, and, and tried to explain to him that it really wasn't like a replacing a whole road, it's basically repairing road, uh, road uh, works. And so he had talked to the LJ engineer about them uh, drawing up suspects and bringing the board and have the board uh, approve them. As our official specs, last year we went out for bids for this asphalt services, and LJA helped us write those specs, but they really hadn't been approved by court. So when we get the official ones, bring them back to court, approve them, and then Grant Works said we should be okay to go ahead and use our to go out for bids. Just taking a little while to get the right answer. But yeah. thank David on that. That he it's okay. Like, uh, he wore it down. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it was a misunderstanding between yeah. us and yeah. Grant Works as to the level of work. Correct. So I was glad that they could work with that. All right. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion from Bruce, second from Leon to approve. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 21 from Sheriff. <clears throat> Consider to approve Liberty County Sheriff's termination of lease agreement for office space with Smith Towing. Located at 24976 State Highway 321 in Cleveland, Texas, due to the construction of the Sheriff's Office new building. Yes, sir. We were paying for this out of the seizure fund. Yes, sir. We have some spare offices. We moved them down here until we can get the place up in Plum Grove. Yes, subdivisions built. So we just need to terminate. We have to terminate the lease and right. I just want to make the commission report aware of that. Yes, sir. Make the motion I approve. Thank you. Motion Leon, second from Greg. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Likewise, nay. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Number 22. Thank you, Sheriff. Number 22 uh, from Mr. Pope and Ms. McCarty over in the county attorney's office consider an approved bid proposal number two from Myron McDowell Construction Incorporated in the amount of $17,435.83 for county attorney's remodel. Okay. That's in your office here. This is for the office here. Okay. And this is the, the second of two uh, bids that we've received. <laughs> Half, as I should say, the second half of the project. Right. Uh, it was getting with the uh, other one getting close to fifty, which was uh, also our budget for it. Mm -hmm. and so we wanted to make sure that there weren't there isn't any likelihood of crossover on before we came back to court and asked for this to be approved. Okay. At this point, we're, we're, it's ready to go. But it's a budget so, amount anyway, and it, it is. Yes. Okay. So and it's a long time it. coming too. It, it's, yeah, I'm yeah. very appreciative. Make the motion we approve. Right. Right. Motion from Leon, second from David. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, me. So that motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. This next item, number 23, uh, Senator approved plan of equal distribution of all accumulated money, the land acquisition fund. I will ask that, that be moved to the executive session since we already have another item on the executive session today. It, uh, I think there should be some discussion on this. 
Make a motion to go to the executive session. Instead, pop off the new 71 conversation with the attorney and then also. 551087. None of us. Yeah. Okay. 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 Constitution of the attorney and the Yeah. 551071 and 551087. Motion from Greg, second. I think that was from Bruce. No, Leon. From Leon? Yes. That was you, Leon? Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nay is okay. It's now uh, 956. And we are. Session. All right, we're back in regular session. It's 1120. Officially, it was 1120. It still is, according to the computer clock. And the uh, first item we have up was discussion and potential action regarding ongoing negotiations. Uh, proposed economic development agreement pursuant chapter 381 Texas local government code between Liberty County and Liberty County Solar Project LLC. And there really is no action that we need at this time. No. Okay. Take no We're going to take no action. Um, should we vote on that, Matthew, please? Make a motion to take no action. Yeah. Um, okay, Bruce, need a second. Second. Second, David. On. Favor say aye. Uh, All, right. Okay, All right. Now the next is consider and approve a plan of equal distribution of all accumulated money in the land acquisition fund. And I make a motion we don't take anything out of the land acquisition fund this year. Second. Okay. Hang on. I can't hear y'all, Jay. Okay. No, I can. Can you? Okay. Well, you know, did you hear the motion? Yeah, I heard the motion, but it went uh, to okay. silent. It got silent after that. Okay. In light of the motion, I don't have all the facts in front of me. I understand your 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 points. You know it. Uh, Angela has some numbers there. I haven't even had a chance to look at those. It, uh, what our projection is for the end of the year, what that account's going to be, and then what are the, some of the other things we have. I would like for us to table that long enough for us to get all the facts out again, and we can come back out here and rehash this one more time. I don't mind it a bit, but I want to be sure that I know exactly what's there and what the points are. And it, uh, well, Jay, she's got the numbers in front of her. Why don't you look at them and then we'll take it from there? Yeah, instead, well, of, that, revisiting, instead of revisiting this, yeah. you got a motion to second. All right, there's a motion to second. Um, Bruce, yeah. you were, you, if your motion, oh, no, great. Yeah. All right, I'm just great. kind of putting this out there if y'all discuss. And your motion was to leave the land acquisition fund account as is for the current fiscal year. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Got a motion from Greg, second from Bruce to leave it leave it alone this year. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Likewise, nays. Aye. aye. I'm going to pass that and say aye. We're going to go ahead and leave it alone since I don't have opportunity to look at it further. Make a motion to adjourn. Got a motion to adjourn. Got a 